Thanks. Let's get the breaking news right now. City Council has just voted to rename Lakeshore Drive to Jean-Baptiste Pont du Sable Lakeshore Drive. Fox 32 political editor Mike Flannery, he's been following today's proceedings. Joining us now with details, Mike, you are inside the council chambers. Tell us what today's debate looked like. There were two aldermen who uh, spoke against it. Uh, Brendan Riley, who represents uh, uh, the Loop and uh, the greater uh, downtown area, and Brian Hopkins, his neighbor on the near north side. Uh, the, uh, Hopkins, in particular, noted there are six buildings and a seventh under construction that will have to change their address as a result of this. But uh, those who were in favor of it uh, carried the day. Uh, Alderman uh, Sophia King, uh, Alderwoman Sophia King, uh, she argued precisely because Lakeshore Drive is such an iconic uh, street name uh, that that is a reason to change it, to honor the uh, founder of Chicago uh, in some respects, uh, a man uh, believed to have been born in Haiti uh, with uh, perhaps French and uh, 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 native uh, indigenous uh, ancestors himself. Uh, as well as African, and uh, he was married to a member of the Potawatomi tribe, uh, his wife here. Um, uh, Alderman Carlos uh, Ramirez Rosa, uh, uh, never one for understatement, uh, characterized the opposition as uh, white supremacist in nature. Uh, he, he suggested that uh, only racists would oppose this name change. You can imagine in some quarters uh, in the council, that didn't go down well, guys. Back to you. This was not what the mayor wanted to happen. So this is like her first big loss. What happens now? Well, we're waiting to hear from the mayor. Uh, she's going to 6 p.m. Uh, as this uh, marathon council meeting, a rare Friday council meeting, has dragged on into Friday evening. Uh, you know, we'll see if there's anything further. Uh, the council did reconsider it and reject a reconsideration. So. Uh, the, uh, it's going to become law, it's going to be a fait accompli uh, unless uh, Mayor Lightfoot were to decide to veto it and uh, we're, uh, it's not clear that that's going to happen. Uh, we'll be hearing from her in a few minutes. Um, I, I will say there was something else that uh, was taking place behind the scenes here. Uh, there is a very uh, a large uh, group of aldermen uh, not happy with the way the mayor's been running the city council for the last two years. Uh, there was a push to, and there is going to be a continuing push to get a city council parliamentarian uh, named. Uh, that was blocked at least temporarily today. And uh, there was also, for the first time ever, uh, the uh, mayor lost on, a, on an effort to uh, split up a vote. Again, an inside baseball thing, but um, that's never happened Chicago mayor. Uh, one indication that Lori Lightfoot is... Uh, having some trouble winning over members of the Chicago City Council uh, when she needs their support. All Back right. to you guys. Thank you, Mike, for the analysis. We appreciate it.